Alright, so today we're going to be going over a trick for squaring numbers 41 through 50. So this, I feel like, is a very, very important and useful trick because it helps you get the accurate answers quickly in a number sense test. So let's, let's get started. Imagine you have this question on your number sense test. How would you solve it? The first thing that comes into to your head might be, wait, don't I just have to do long multiplication? But the thing is, you're racing against the clock. So there is a faster way to do it. Let's, let's go ahead and get started with this example. So the trick is to subtract your number from 50. So subtract the number from 50. And you get... Four. The next step is to square that result. Square that result and you get 16. Now this number is going to be the last two digits of your answer. Next what you do is you take that number. So four becomes like your key number here. It becomes the number that all the steps go with. So you have your four. Next, you subtract that number from 25. Now the 25 and the 50, those always remain constant no matter what your number is. So subtract that and you get 21. And this number is the first two digits. So it may seem a bit complicated at first, but once you, once you start to practice it a lot, um, it actually gets a lot easier. So 2116 would be your answer. Let's, let's try it with a different example. Let's go ahead and say, what's 43 squared? So again, let's go through the same steps. 40 minus, uh, 50, sorry, minus 43 is equal to 7. Let's go ahead and square that and get 49. Next, let's follow the step where we subtract that number from 25. So we go 25 minus 7 is equal to 18. Now, we make 18 our first two digits and 49 our last two. And this is our answer, 1849. So a, a big thing to remember with this trick is it only works for 41 through 50. Using this trick for other numbers will not work. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. So it's always you subtract your number from 50, square that difference, and those are your last two digits. And then you subtract that difference from 25, and that's your first two numbers. And again, with practice, it'll feel less complicated. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all for today.